Okay, what we want to do now is to say a little bit about the, uh, the, the story of the International Training Consultation of uh, Brethren Training Network, um, a little bit of where we've come from and uh, how we got to here, uh, and perhaps then to go on from that and look to where we will go from here. Uh, th this is the third uh, consultation that we've had, and it's wonderful to come back to Emmaus. We uh, enjoy it here, and we're very grateful for the hospitality. I suppose in the ongoing context of Brethren Training Network, the website would figure high on that. Uh, the, the website developed, I suppose, back in about 2003 uh, from the IBCM. Everybody keeps producing all these acronyms, uh, International Brethren Conference and Mission, that meets every four years. And out of that, uh, we'll hear a little bit more about that from Fares later on in the week. But uh, out of that, there came the notion that, the, that we really ought to have a, a, a website. It was called Brethren Educational Network to begin with and is now Brethren Training uh, org. And the idea is to provide resources and let people know about the resources that are available. Um, it also contains a whole range of articles uh, and a wide range of information. Neil Summerton has been very instrumental in uh, making sure that this site has been populated. Um, I've had responsibility for that for a number of years, um, and I have done an extremely bad job of that. Um, as you can see by looking at it, uh, my enthusiasm is very high, my expertise is very low, uh, so I'm delighted to come to you tonight and say that um, uh, I'm not offered my resignation, I'm just going to retire uh, uh, at the end of this week, so come Saturday, you can do whatever you like, I'm finished. <laughs> at that particular time. But it is an opportunity for us to maybe think about where the website uh, could go in the future, how it could be uh, developed. And uh, can I ask you to think about that? And if you have expertise and you have a willingness to contribute in that area, uh, that would be very positive. Please do speak to one of the uh, steering group. This is the third uh, consultation. I, I think it started back about uh, 2003 uh, or thereabouts. We first began to think about it. Um, it had been suggested in a whole variety of different contexts at IBCM for one, uh, conferences in Central Africa and Zambia in particular. Um, and people had begun to think about the possibility of pulling different training centers together. Um, and that was particularly taken up in Tilsley College in Motherwell in Scotland. And a group of us there felt that it would be a very positive thing to bring training communities together. We were conscious of a whole range of uh, good practice that was taking place. We were conscious of common issues. We were conscious of reduplication. People were doing the same things, reinventing wheels and so on. Um, and it is interesting to see the range of challenges and issues that we all face. We've listened to Phil just a minute or two ago, and we might think to ourselves, well, here's Emmaus. It's a big organization. They've got unlimited resources. They can do anything. I'm just uh, associated with a small training center, uh, and we are so limited in so many ways, only to discover that the same kind of problems face us all uh, when it comes to that. And maybe, maybe that should say to us, as it did way back in 2003, um, maybe we ought to think about how we can help one another and encourage and support each other. Um, and we did that. We called together. We, we, we sent out a, a, a list, I think actually using the IBCM mailing list, and sent out to people and said, would there be any interest in uh, having a concert? consultation. A number of people came back and said, yes, we would be interested in that. Um, and I'm guessing we had about 35-ish, that number of people, maybe on the first occasion. And then another consultation in 2010, and here we are from here. And it has grown over the course of these years. Reports have been issued uh, for each of the consultations, and these can be found on the drop box there. So you can get the full details of that. A number of recommendations have been made from each of these. One of the recommendations is implemented tonight uh, at the last consultation. People said, don't just do lectures all the time. Let's do some work. Uh, let's do some worship. Uh, let's have some music. And we said, well, okay, maybe we should do that. And we're very grateful to our musicians. Thank you very much for your help in that context there. Um, we we uh, felt that it was important to maintain a, a, an assembly's uh, a database, and 
we've worked a little bit on that, and other people are now coming on board uh, with that same kind of idea. Uh, we felt it was important to have a, a guide to the resources for church-based training, and all kinds of things like that, all kinds of recommendations were made. I think it would be fair to say that uh, the progress has been very slow. Um, we have not, uh, we have not uh, been able to implement anything like uh, the range of recommendations, but we've made some progress on some of them. I'm, I'm not particularly concerned about the fact that we uh, have made relatively slow progress. It takes a long time to change mindsets. It is very difficult to get people to think about worldwide issues when you're battling with the, the particular issue that's before you in your own context there. That's, that's life, that's what happens. Um, so it has been slow, but we have come to today and we've got 70 people thereabouts from 26, 27 countries. There is, a, I think, a sense of anticipation. There, there is a sense that somehow or other we can move on from here. And uh, I, I'm, I'm quite excited by that and think uh, we, we've, we've done some things, not as much as we would have liked, um, but we've come to this point and we're ready to move on from here. And maybe over the course of this week, we will be able to think of ways uh, where we can do that. And Mark is going to tell us a little bit about the function of the steering group and uh, what the consultation is about. And I'll just hand over to Mark uh, to take us to the next point. Thanks, Mark.